Hello to all you beautiful faces out there. It's Chris Matoshiski, and uh, we're going to run through what's been going on in Calgary here. Normally, I go through the different segments of the homes, break that down. Today, we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to look specifically as a whole, and um, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about sales performance January last year, talk a little bit about the interest rates. So with that being said, I just kind of want to break it down and make it real quick. But as I do, um, please, uh, we are uh, looking for inventory right now and uh, we need it. We've got clients that are looking to move. Uh, we've got clients looking to sell. So at the end of this video um, or in the email there, uh, please check out our wants and needs list. And uh, hopefully you can help us out and in turn uh, help our buyers and sellers out. So let me share my screen here and we can kind of get into uh, what I'm talking about here for Calgary as a whole. So, you know, we can kind of see that uh, Calgary sales are down 50% or 40% year over year. But overall, uh, our slowest months being uh, December and January, uh, very consistent, it's sitting around just under 1,200 sales. Uh, December was close to that at 1,200 as well. Our combined total average price in Calgary, 520,000, up over 5% year over year. And you can kind of see everything has crested up as well. Detached homes up almost 7%. Uh, semi-detached, uh, 6%, and uh, row houses, 12%, and apartments, which were an absolute dog for like four or five years, up close to 10% there. You know, it's interesting that our inventory levels are sitting at about 2,400 right now uh, as a combined total up a couple hundred due to a couple of things, likely due to interest rates going up a little bit, but also we're just still lacking on inventory levels. We've got people that would like to move up, but can't, um, you know, maybe they're strong armed or handcuffed by the increase in interest rates and the affordability is not there. Um, but still at two months worth of supply, we're still 50% lower than what we should be in, in getting and trying to get to a balanced market. We're just different than the rest of the country right now. And it's a nice thing. Um, but lack of supply is is preventing us from you know having some increased prices here. So with an average price of five hundred eight thousand, um, you know that's uh, that's a good thing to look at starting out the new year here. But we do need more inventory. We do need more product. You know when people say that you know they're anticipating that rates are going to drop and then that's when they'll get into it. I'm thinking like right now, if you can and you do find something, you should be jumping on it here because as long as our inventory levels stay low, um, our prices are going to remain fairly consistent. And uh, I think by the fall, we're going to have a correction there. So that's kind of our market in a nutshell. As I mentioned, please pay attention to uh, our needs and wants list that I'm going to put together in that uh, in the body of the email. Until then, I uh, hope you're having a great kickoff to uh, 2023 and uh, a good start to uh, February. Enjoy the rest of the week. Look forward. Cheers.